Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day. Today is Sunday the 10th. It was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got up this morning ridiculously early. Um, the dogs did better overnight. Um, settled down a little bit to get some sleep, but they decided they wanted to get up at like, I don't know, five something this morning. I started, needed to be up and moving kind of thing, which was not great. So daylight saving time happens. We already lost an hour there and then I'm up at like five something, which is never good. So I got up trying to keep them uh, quiet so my wife wouldn't be woke up by it and got the dogs outside, got everything all taken care of there, then decided to just go hang out in the living room with the dogs, turn on the TV, just kind of have a little background noise and stuff. We have like noisemakers in the house to kind of drown out um, strange sounds and stuff that wander around in the neighborhoods because most of the time the dogs are here. Um, it's a completely new environment kind of set up with the whole um, deal with the, they're not used to the noises, the neighbor's noises, the cars, the whatever, and the different sounds like the furnace makes, that kind of stuff. So found some white noise and some fans blowing around, help keep the dogs a little bit more, um, I guess less annoyed and less barky at strange noises. So went ahead and left all those on so it helped drown out the rest of the noise outside and hung out with the dogs in the living room um, till my, I don't know, probably seven something, not quite eight o'clock, and then headed outside hung out with them, wife got up, and kind of able to roam around a little more and get some more things done. Nothing too major. Uh, she had to take her dad somewhere, so she took him, and then couldn't hang with it. His um, card had expired, so he couldn't get anything and stuff, whatever and whatnot, so kind of is what it is there. But I got back, um, I told her that I wanted to go. There was an open house going on today out in the country. Um, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes, depending on the traffic out there. And when I looked at it, it's a, I don't know, kind of, it's an okay house. It's not, our house is much nicer, but it's an okay house, but it's got six acres of land and room for shop, room for, you know, a small house from a farm off. I wanted to build a new house there kind of stuff, but it's 600 grand. So 600 grand is a shit ton of money for a house and it's on dirt road. If it was on paved, I think that property, that six acres in the house, the way it's laid out and the house sits nice back off the road. If it was paved, it would probably be a million dollar house is my estimation on it. So yeah, it's one of those things I think as time goes on, all these roads are all gonna be paved as we keep expanding out into those environments. And it's, is it worth living on dirt road? So. I think I'll lose a lot of my clients being 25 minutes out of town because especially daycare stuff like the ones that come each day, um, definitely not going to drive 20, 25 minutes each way. But if your dog's staying me two, three, four, five nights, um, I think 95 to a hundred percent of those people will continue. The only thing that might make a difference is a few of those animals also do daycare and they might find a client that they're just like, eh, this is content enough. Like they're happy enough with, and then I'll lose those. So I will lose some money. Um, some income that way. I don't think I'll pick up much more out there because most people out in that area are going to be, you know, more willing to leave their dog home with fenced in yard, have a neighbor come in and throw food out to them kind of thing. A little more different mentality of people. So yeah, I don't know. It'd be hard telling uh, if it's worth it or not. Kind of ran some numbers through it. And if I sold both properties and emptied out my stock market accounts and whatnot and kind of cashed out everything I could basically purchase the property I believe and have enough money to build a nice 900,000 square foot um, house for my father-in-law and I can't do like a tiny home I'd love to do like a tiny home because that would be something that I could either then resell and or we could then use it to put on another property say up in the mountains or something at some point but he has a giant record collection that I did the math on a while back and I think it's like five tons worth of vinyl records with the weight, because I did the math. I think they said like 100 records is about 50 pounds or whatever, and there's 22,000 plus albums. So the math works out like five ton, and feels like a lot more than that, so I've moved them multiple, multiple times from his place into storage, and storage back into the place that now and stuff. So the house has to be on a concrete slab, and even if I was um, doing a regular, I would do a thicker slab, so the cost would be a little more. An average cost to build a house about $150, $150 a square foot, so if I do a thousand square foot house, it's 150 grand. Um, I figure it's probably adding another 20 grand for a stronger foundation, um, pouring thicker footings and stuff and whatnot. 
and that would be basically it would be a small efficiency of kitchen a small decent bath or bedroom with probably like a jack and jill bath so it's access off the bedroom then also from like the hallway and then a big ass stereo room with a big tv like a big theater room and then like another um basically storage room of just records that would have shelving through the middle and like a walk around path so it'd be like a library type of building with multiple shelves in there to hold 22,000 albums kind of thing so kind of does suck but um it is what it is we also talked about a little bit in the concept of just giving him the house that's there and then building ourselves a house but in order to do that I had to pull out probably a two hundred thousand dollar loan because the house we'd want to build is probably 400 grand and now i've got a two big houses on the property and then it kind of falls in that category it doesn't really make sense in that world so i don't know I probably won't be doing it i don't think my wife wants to go there she said if it was something i want to do and i wanted to put the numbers together and i could make it work that she'd be willing to live out in the country I know she don't really want to. She knows I want space. I want room to put up a big ass pole barn. Um, there is a garage there, but it's it's a carport with three sides on. It's all it is. It's not really a garage. So, but yeah, that's kind of it. Um, we came back from that and uh, saw another open house. Stopped and did. Ironically, the house we looked at when we were looking for this house. Where now um, they've painted the outside patio floor, and I think that's all they've done. Nothing else they've done to it. I need to go back and look and see if it shows how much it was before. And there's a couple of things I didn't like about the house, things I don't like about it still. But it was just interesting, killing time. Hit a second, or a third, technically a third open house of, that we looked at and just, we were in it and I'm like, oh, we've been in this house, like the exact same flooring, exact same cabinets, that thing, everything. But it's not, it's just somebody else building these back homes back in the day. And they put on the builder grade stuff. It's still there because the front side and that street, we've never been on. We never looked at houses there. I know we didn't because there's the house across the street I like that I would have remembered looking at that one. So. There's a house with the exact same layout, exact same floor plan and everything that didn't do any, that we'd never been in. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, we got back from those, um, hung out at the house, put the dogs and stuff, got them all back outside, chilled out some, hung around a little bit, just kind of doing our thing. And then from there, went ahead and um, just ended up not really much going on. It's kind of being a lazy day. Um, dealing with the dogs, carrying them and started doing some office work. All the good fun stuff with that. Um, mom ended up making beef stew that turned out super thick. Um, went ahead and went and got my run in, got back, grabbed myself a shower, and then we had dinner, watched the Wentworth, ended up back outside with all the puppies, and everybody's out there playing and having a good time. The one doodle and bistro, the Dane mix, is like playing their ass off, and they're tearing my yard up. They're chasing each other so much, having such a good time, but they're out there having fun, so that's all that really matters. I'll replant and reseed at a later date, but kind of is what it is in the winter time our grass doesn't grow that much down here so it gets beat up a little bit worse but it looks like i have hogs i've been out there chasing each other so much and bistro's paws are so big and so powerful he just rips up chunks of dirt but yeah life happens so yeah got down there had myself a nice cigar headed back in for the evening and chilled out with my wife a little bit watched a little bit of netflix on the bed and call it a night so that's all i got for right now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.